Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? Ben here, and today we are going to be going over some of my most used keyboard shortcuts on a Mac. Now some of you may find these useful, others not so much, but I'm just going to be showing you guys some of the ones that I use on a regular basis. Anyway, starting off, we can easily hide our dock by selecting Command, Option, and D. If we were to drag our cursor over towards where our dock normally would be, it will also reappear. Next up, we also have some precise volume controls. Now, normally when you turn your volume up and down using your keyboard, it goes up by increments of one bar. Now, if we were to hold down shift option and then use our volume button keys, you'll notice that it goes down or up in smaller increments. Next, we can easily take pictures on our screen by selecting command shift three. This will take a picture of our entire screen. Now, if we'd like to take a picture of a portion of our screen, we can select Command Shift 4. We can then click and drag on an area, then let go to take a snapshot of that selected area. If we'd like to take a picture of an individual window, dock, or menu bar, we can select Command Shift 4 and then the space key. If I'd like to take a picture of my dock, I can simply put my cursor on my dock and select. If we go have a look at the picture, we'll notice that all we can see is the dock and no wallpaper in the background. Now let's say we have a few applications open at a time. We can quickly switch between these applications by holding down the command key and selecting the tab button. We can continue to select tab until we are on the desired application and then let go of both the tab and the command key to go to the application. Next, if you quickly want to open up a finder window and you're on your desktop, you can select Command N on the keyboard, and this will open up a new finder window. Now also, if we'd like to select a bunch of folders and maybe drag them to another location, rather than clicking each one and dragging it to the desired location, we can select one and hold Shift and select another one, and it will select all the folders in between those folders. Now if we'd rather select individual folders, we can hold Command and click multiple folders. Now this last keyboard shortcut is great if you're working on a document. Let's say you want to move to another word in your document. Rather than taking your cursor and dragging over and clicking that word, you can easily move between words faster by holding down the option key and then selecting your right and left arrows. This will skip between words rather than individual characters as you see right here. Now, if you'd also like to select an area of text, you can also hold down the shift key and hold the option key and then use your right and left arrows. This will select the area. You can then hit command C, delete, or whatever you'd like to do with that given text. Well, guys, that's it for my favorite shortcuts on a Mac. Let me know if you guys have any others that you use on a daily basis. I'd be happy to hear. Just put them in the comment section below. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you all next time.